We're here at the Columba Circle in uh, New York. We're going to go into Central Park for a walk with Ruchir and try and understand what Ruchir is thinking of the India story. And his thoughts are always at the intersection of macroeconomics and Indian politics. A very interesting and unique perspective. Ruchir, I want to start by asking about uh, your views on the India growth story at the moment. Till a few years ago, governments were talking about double digit, 10 percent plus uh, growth rates now six and a half percent is all policy makers are speaking about is six and a half seven the new normal is this what india should expect realistically over the next few years well i think if you look at india's growth trajectory over the last 40 50 years you find a very tight fit with what's happening globally and what happens in india mm -hmm. so when we had this extraordinary boom in the 2000s where the indian economy did grow at uh, nine percent or so we have to take one thing very important into account the global economy was booming back then the global economy was growing at, at about four percent or so emerging markets in general were growing at seven percent in the current era and this is a point I've been making which is that the global economy's growth rate has now slipped to about two two and a half percent and in the entire history of India's economic development, the Indian economy on a sustained basis has never been able to grow more than about three percentage points faster than the global economy. So what's the logical conclusion here? That the global economy is going to be growing at two, two and a half percent. Mm -hmm. Then for the Indian economy to grow much faster than five and a half, six percent is extremely difficult. It's never been done before, even during the heydays of India's growth story back in the 2000s. Why is the global economy growing at this pace of two, two and a half percent? Because the demographics have changed. Uh, the world's population is not growing at the rate that it was. Even India's population growth rate has slowed down significantly, as you know. Then when you look at uh, uh, factors such as deglobalization, that's also coming to play now. That's changing how India's growth trajectory will also be. So these global factors are pulling down India's growth rate as well. India's export growth rate in the uh, peak boom years used to be 25-30% a year. It is impossible now for India's exports to grow 25-30% with the global economy not growing so rapidly. So I think there's a major shift across the world uh, in the growth rates and that's what I think is leading to a slowdown in India's trend growth rate as well. So yes, to cut a long uh, story short here, I think uh, five and a half, six kind of growth expectation for India is much more realistic under this global economic scenario than, you know, just throwing about numbers like nine or 10 percent. That's the kind of growth rate where you get when the global economy is booming. And also, if you are able to take the kind of massive structural reforms that China was able to take, but India's political economy, I don't think, allows for that. You know, the, your former organization, Morgan Stanley, put out a report recently on the last nine years being a transformational decade, and this is being called India's moment. The fact that the global economy is growing at a slower pace uh, than when China's economy was going through a similar phase of development, how much of a disadvantage is that for India in its growth cycle at this moment and where we could end up being in a 10-20 year horizon uh, given how China grew at a time when the world was growing really fast? No, I think it's a major factor. So therefore, when people talk about these growth rates of 9-10% and stuff, and this is a problem I find with a lot of people back in India, that the view tends to be very insular. Mm -hmm. We're not taking into account what's happening in the rest of the world when we're coming up with these projections. It's a very insular view that, you know, uh, it's almost as if it's our God-given right that we can grow at those pace. So I don't take these reports very seriously because I think that it's like in terms of the factors that they just don't take into account the global context and they tend to be very insular.